Um, hello guys, good day ulit. So, um, ito, ito yung third um, tutorial ko for strength of materials. So, ito yung book na ginagamit ko, um, Strength of Materials, 4th edition by Andrew Paitel and Ferdinand L. Singer. So, yung problem natin is, um, so, ikatard problem. So, tapos na tayo sa 104, 105 and today is um, 106 so prob problem 106 <coughs> um, the homogeneous bar shown in figure 106 is supported by smooth pin at C so and a cable that runs from A to B so the, the smooth peg at D find the stress in the cable if its diameter is 0.6 inches and the bar weigh um, 6,000 pounds so naka pounds ta ngayon so meaning pounds and naka fit tayo so convert natin yung fit to inches para may um, ano tayo PSI so yun yung magiging stress natin in form of PSI so okay sige draw natin yung FBD ng problem natin so as you notice sabi kanina is may, uh, as you can see kanina meron tayong parang ano dito smooth peg at D meaning kung ano yung force ko dito um, kasi smooth lang to so same force ang nagatakbo from dito hanggang dito So, meaning in simple, um, so lagay natin yung, dito daw yung 6,000, 6,000 pounds, so, um, 5 meter to, 5 meter, ito yung point C, so nakahinge yan sya dyan and um, yung cable na na dumadaan dito sa roller natin or yung sa sabi kanina sa peg sa smooth peg yan so yan so for example lakay natin dito P so zoom natin konti yan So, pag pito dito, same lang. P din yan siya dyan kasi um, dumaan yung P dito and still P yung andito niya. So, um, ano pa ba yung given dito sa book? Meron tayong given of 3 feet. So, 3 feet. So, may 3 feet tayo na height. <coughs> 5 feet pala to. 5 feet. Ito, 5 feet. Yan. So, <coughs> um, 3 feet. Um, yan. So, convert natin yung feet to inches. So, um, alam natin na 12 inches is equals to 1 feet. So, um, yung 3 feet um, times 1 feet equals to 12 inches. So, ilan yung 3 feet natin? 3 times 12, 36 inches. So, napatay yung ano natin yung flash so, sira na siguro yung phone ko so, yung 5 feet times 12 inches is equals to 60 60 inches <coughs> so, meron na tayong uh, mga um, converted na distances 
So, para mahanapin natin yung angle dito. So, 3 and 5. So, ano yan? Tangent. Ang 3 and 5. Sa pagkuha ng angle, so, no need mo na gamitin yung pwede din 36 so try natin ha 36 and kasi same lang naman din 36 and 60 so yan magiging shift tangent 36 over 60 so meron tayong 30.96 so pag i-change natin yan into 5 and 3 So, same lang. Meron tayong 30.96 degrees. Yan yung angle natin dito. So, kasi, um, first is hahanap, hahanapin natin yung P. So, hindi natin siya masasolve if um, magsasummation forces Y lang tayo. Kasi, um, dalawa yung um, direction ng P natin so ngayon ang gagawin natin kasi may support yan dito which is hinge so dito tayo mag um, mag moment so kaya naunan, naunang ituro sa atin yung um, mechanics kasi gagamit, gagamit natin yung mga natutunan natin dun dito sa strength of materials so the mission moment at C equals to zero So, <clears throat> P. So, P sine. So, sine of. <clears throat> um, P sine of. Um, 30.96 times 10. Uh, I mean, 60. 60 inches. So, yung x component niya kasi going din dun directly sa C. So, hindi natin siya include. So, yung y component niya lang yung dito. ba diba? Kasi, yung dito is going directly sa moment center. So, magiging zero siya. So, yung P sin 30.96 lang. Next is positive um, P ulit um, times um, 5 which is oh ito pala yung 60 ito yung 120 120 pala to kasi um, 10 siya 10 10 inches I mean 10 feet so yan then ano pa minus 6,000 6,000 pounds times 60 So, equals to zero. So, yan input natin sa calcu. Um, alpha x sine 30.96 times 120 plus um, alpha x times 60 minus 6,000 times 60 equals to zero. So, ship solve. <laughs> Yung p natin is Um, 2957 point um, so ano lang gawin natin so gawin na natin yung 30 yan so yun meron na tayo sana kita makita nyo lang kasi medyo madilim konti so yan lagyan natin yung ano so kita nyo lang ba guys no? yan so <clears throat> meron na tayong P so ito yung um, hinahanap natin di ba kasi yung stress is equals to P over A yan so meron na tayong P hinahanap natin to so 
yung area natin is um, given ba yung area natin so hindi so binigyan lang tayo ng cable 6 inches diameter so may diameter tayo meaning um, circular yung ano natin yung area so yung area natin is equals to diameter so 1 fourth pi d squared equals to 1 fourth pi 0 0.6 squared equals point six square so yan meron tayong nine um nine over one hundred pi yan yung area natin so yan yung gagamitin natin ito yung gagamitin natin sa equation natin dito I mean, sa formula natin so ngayon solving for stress sa cable so meron tayong two nine 57 So ito is naka pounds Naka pounds to Naka pounds ba to Ay okay, yes Naka pounds yan Ito tayo So point 30 LB Over Ito naka area kasi to eh So 6 so ito is inch squared kasi inches yun eh so 9 over 100 pi inch squared so yung stress natin is naka psi na yan pounds square inch psi so 29 57.30 9 over 100 pi yan so ito yung ano natin sa ang um, formula P over area so equals so meron tayong 10 459.31 so naka PSI na to pounds square inch square inch so yan yung ibig sabihin ng PSI so yan yung stress natin stress of <clears throat> sa bar natin I mean sa cable cable ba so find the stress in the cable yun so cable yan 6000 kasi may bar tayo so nahanap natin yung stress ng um, ng cable natin so, ito yung cable. So, yun. Yung walang binigay na answer dito. But, um, sure naman ako sa answer ko, guys. So, kung hindi tayo, hindi kayo masyadong convinced. So, pwede nyo um, i-ask yung professor ninyo or yung mga classmate nyo na medyo magagaling. Or, kayo mismo, pwede nyo i-recheck. Recheck natin, ha? So, um, first is kinonvert ko muna yung mga um, distances or yung mga <coughs> length into inch kasi naka pounds tayo so gagawin natin siyang PSI so kinonvert ko siya 3 times 12 36 5 times 12 60 then next is nag moment tayo sa center P so P yan dito and still P yan dito kasi running siya sa smooth na ano parang roller so um, P sine 30 so yung angle natin dito times 120 kasi double so 5 times 2 is um, 10 so ito magiging 120 so P times 60 kasi 60 lang yung 5 feet then minus 6,000 counterclockwise yung moment niya. So, yun. Um, so, nakuha natin force is 
itong 2957.30 pounds so pounds yan then um, hinanap natin yung area given 0.6 diameter yung cable so yun 1.4 pi d squared so may nahanap tayo na um, 9 over 100 pi inch squared so um, substitute natin yung mga values ng P and A sa equation natin I mean sa formula so ito na hanap natin yung answer which is 10,459.31 PSI so yun guys um, thank you for watching and I hope na may natutunan kayo sa um, tutorial natin ngayon so um, kung may medyo ngayon guys um hindi muna ako mag entertain masyado ng mga PM sa Facebook ko. <laughs> Kasi medyo <coughs> busy, busy talaga in medyo crucial yung ano namin ngayon yung mga subjects. Kaya medyo um, hindi ako nakakapag-reply talaga masyado. Kasi busy din talaga. Ngayon na ako naka um, gawa ng tutorial kasi um, may one week break kami sa um, school para sa enrollment so yun um, ito yung tutorial natin for this day yan ito yung solution so screenshot nyo na lang and practice na lang kayo to mag solve so yung next problem natin um, syempre yung next dito sa book. So, yung problem natin is problem 107. So, ito na yun. So, pwede nyo isod daan para next sa video ko is, um, titignan nyo na lang kung paano, kung or checking na lang tayo. So, thank you for watching and God bless.